Saturday, the Colorado Buffaloes will play their final home game of the 2011 season here at Folsom Field. Now, by most any measurement, CU's first year in the Pac-12 has been, at best, a frustrating and disappointing campaign. As the Buffs sit at 1-9 overall and 0-6 in conference play. What makes Saturday notable is that 28 seniors will suit up and follow Ralphie out of the grass in front of a frenzied stadium here in Boulder for the last time, a moment that none of them will ever forget. 28 seniors who have, during the course of their four-year playing careers wearing the black and gold, have only won, up to this point, 14 games. Unless you count their redshirt season, they've never won a true road game while being a Buffalo. The last time that happened was in 2007 at Texas Tech. These 28 seniors have gone through a coaching dismissal, a coaching hiring, and seen more downs and ups during their time in Boulder. Scattered amongst the list of 28 are some very good players. Roddy Stewart will leave CU as a second leading rusher in program history. Tyler Hansen has overcome more adversity during his quarterbacking career than most could handle. Anthony Perkins has shown himself to be a great leader and a terrific player. And Ryan Miller is one of the most highly regarded players ever to come out of a Colorado high school. Those are just a few of the great stories within the 28 who are near the end of their college journey. If you look purely at the numbers involved with the 28 seniors, you could say that they failed during their time here at CU. I, however, look at it differently. I choose to believe that the struggles that this group has endured during their time as a Buffalo has been a building process. I believe this group has laid the foundation for the greatness that's to come. When the Buffaloes are standing atop the mountain in the not too distant future, I'm going to remember to think fondly back upon this group that endured the troubles to start this journey so that the greatness could be achieved. So on Saturday, when the Buffaloes take the field against Arizona, let's all show the proper appreciation for the group of 28 who will only enjoy the success through the accomplishments of others in the future. But we'll always know that they laid the groundwork for that success. I'm Mark Johnson of 850 KOA Radio, and that's my view from the booth.